In a previous video, we installed the Tusk side racks and top rack on my KLX 300. Today, we're going to give the Tusk Pilot soft bags a shot. Hopefully, this installation today goes better than the side racks went. That was kind of rough. Along with the Tusk Pilot bags, I ordered these soft bag mounting plates that will hopefully quick disconnect to and from my rack so that I can just mount the soft bags to these plates and then I can take the bags easily on and off if I stop at a hotel or I need to take them inside for whatever reason. So that's the plan. This is the little hole that the quick connect pin slides into. So we're gonna give that a shot. Hopefully these line up well. So, and this goes across the bottom bar, pull the pin back, should fit in, and the pin locks it all in place. And it's definitely rattling. That's gonna drive me batty. So yeah, I think putting those washers in was probably a mistake. That's what the instructions said to do though. So let's see. About the other side here. Yeah, same thing on the other side, nice and loose. So yeah, that'll drive me nuts. So I wonder if taking the washers back out will help with that. So we're going to give that a shot. As you can see, I am starting to sweat. It is hot out here. It's like 100 degrees. So I'm going to move all this inside, work on the washers inside, and we'll see if I can get it to, to fit tighter. And then my next step will be to strap the bags to these plates. As you probably saw, these washers that I went back to put in because that's what the instructions say to do. They created too much of a gap and this thing rattles around on the rack. So I'm gonna take the washers back out and see if I can't get this thing to tighten up onto the rack a little bit. Got all these silly washers removed. Let's take this back outside and see if it fits tighter. Now it's too tight. So here's the verdict. With the washers in, super loose, rattles like crazy. With the washers out, super tight, so tight that I can almost not get it on and off, but I can. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the super tight trusting that it's gonna loosen up a little bit over time because I would rather have it snug than rattling around on me. The bags came already connected together just to kind of, I guess, illustrate how it is that they work. And then I also have these two bottle holders for fuel or water bottles. And these are the sticks that I think help hold those bottles through the molly attachments onto the bags. Let's see what the instructions say here. Instructions, pilot bag system. Number one, buckle both pilot bags together using the one and a half inch top strap buckles. Loosely hang the bags over the motorcycle. And then uh, to allow more space while riding, place the molly patch to the rear of the motorcycle. I would imagine that that's uh, uh, rider choice. So you could probably flip that around and have the, the molly patch on the front if you prefer. But um, so this is of course mounting them as if I'm not using those quick mount plates. 
So I think what I'm going to have to do basically is just figure out how the strapping systems will allow me to connect them to the quick mount plates because it doesn't appear that this assumes in any way that you're using the quick mount plates. So I'm undoing all of these side straps. I took pictures of them first. I always like to take a picture of it so if I get too lost, I know how to return it to its original condition. So I've got these four side straps just hanging loose off the back of the bag now. And I'm thinking, get these top straps out of the way. I think I should be able to just basically lay the bag on there like that. Or conversely, lay the plate on the bag and then thread them back through but make sure they go through the through the uh, plate all right side straps are onto the plate like so I don't know if that's going to be enough to hold a loaded bag to the plate so these top straps, I probably need to figure out how to strap them through, but it doesn't look like they're necessarily designed for that. Okay, so here's my solution to the top straps. What I'm doing is this strap that actually is intended to go across the, the seat or the top rack of the bike is actually threaded through this buckle, and this buckle is attached to a closed loop. This closed loop is just sewn into the bag. So what I'm going to do is remove this top strap, which is creatively run through this buckle. So if I get this top strap off, I was thinking, um, rather than try to tie it on, I think this clip, if I thread it through, this hole will just serve to hold the bag in place there. I don't think I actually have to tie it at all. I think I can just shove these clips through and they will hold it in place. So that's the plan. I'm going to go snap it on and see if it works. So it appears that these clips are keeping, the, they're holding the uh, plate off of the bike rack just far enough that I can no longer get that quick release pin in. Might have to go to plan B here. So originally my thought was I can push this buckle through the slot like so and just use that to secure the top of the bag to the plate. But the problem with that is twofold. One, over time this strap which is permanently sewn into the bag is gonna fray and break. And number two, this buckle gets in the way between the plate and the rack, so the rack no longer fits and the quick release pin no longer reaches to fit through the hole. So what I need to do really is get some extra webbing. I don't wanna use the original straps, the webbing from the original straps that came with the bag in case I need to reuse those again. So I'm gonna to have to order some, some webbing on Amazon so that I can run the webbing through this clip, through the hole in the, in the plate and back through the clip to secure it to the top. So I'll pick this back up when I have that webbing. But I think other than that, it looks like it's all gonna work. Okay, it's a couple days later and my solution has arrived. I ordered some inch and a half nylon webbing, lightweight webbing off of Amazon. And I have cut 
four eight inch strips from that webbing. I melted the ends to keep them from fraying. And now I'm gonna use those strips to secure the top of my bags to the mounting plates. that should do it the bags are on they are secured well now I just have to fill them up and take a trip